So this is my Lego 6x4 inline 4 Lego vacuum engine. And as the name implies, it works on a vacuum cleaner, which makes it very epic. And if you're wondering, 6x4 just talks about the piston size. 6x4 meaning 6x4 studs for each piston. This engine took about 3 hours to design and almost 31 hours to build over the span of 9 days, making this one of the biggest projects I've ever made. And yes, this is a voice reveal. Just using text literally everywhere is kind of getting difficult. This engine has many cool features like twin root spore superchargers, which are removable. And they do actually blow a bit of air. As you can see, I've made some paper gaskets over here. The superchargers themselves are based on Taylor's design, except that Elon gated the rotor blades a bit, and of course, there are two of them. Link to their channel in the description. It also has a removable valve cover. And a fully functional starter motor with a clutch. And don't worry, because I have a white clutch gear over here to protect the motor. It also has a cylinder head that is connected to the exhaust manifold. And yes, you guessed it, it is removable. And last but not least, it has a removable oil pan. Also, this is the largest, most complex, and most realistic LEGO engine I've ever built, with a volume of almost 47 cc or cubic centimeters. Oh, gotta clean this whole engine up and put it back together, and we will run it after this. So I'm going to be running this engine on the floor because it's going to be much easier. And here's one last engine overview before I start. Well, how the starter motor works is I turn it on switch this and then switch back turn this on and the engine will start of course i'll have the hose connected over here
This engine doesn't go very fast, probably because it is so big. Now let's try to run it without the supercharger and see how fast it goes. Supercharger off, let's go. I also put a slightly bigger flywheel on this thing. Also, I forgot to add, but I um, made this radiator and this is how it looks on the engine. I personally think it looks really cool. I put a lot of work and effort into this engine. At one point, I had to redesign the whole head and the whole valve design. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below what I should do with this engine. See you later. Goodbye.